One of the most notable actions of the Normandy campaign was the ambush of a British armoured column by a single Tiger tank at Villa Bocage on the 13th of June 1944. The officer responsible was none other than Germany's tank ace of aces, SS Obersturmführer Michael Wittmann, who by January 1944 had logged 117 tank kills, mostly on the Eastern Front, and had been awarded the Knight's Cross with oak leaves. Wittmann's unit, Schwierer SS Panzerabteilung 101, was the heavy tank component of the 1st SS Panzer Corps. On the 13th of June, Wittmann was at Corps headquarters and decided to go out on a reconnaissance. Wittmann, in his Tiger, moved to check the ground as rumours of the famous British 7th Armoured Division, the Desert Rats, had pushed into the German front line. As Wittmann approached Villa Bocage, he was surprised to see a British armoured column leave the town and head towards high ground at point 213, one kilometre north. The unit was from the County of London Yeomanry. The British stopped for a cigarette break and to make tea. Wittmann now made his move. Wittmann cut round behind and entered Villa Bocage, spotting four Cromwell tanks parked in a row in the main street. He immediately opened fire, knocking out three of the four. The last Cromwell quickly reversed into a garden. Wittmann continued through the ruined town. He then spotted more parked British tanks. His Tiger took a hit from a Sherman Firefly. Wittmann ordered his driver to reverse back up the hill. Suddenly he was assailed by the Cromwell which had hidden in the garden. The Tiger took two hits with no effect and then he killed the Cromwell. Wittmann now left the town and rejoined three other Tigers and replenished his ammunition. He then moved against A Squadron, County of London Yeomanry. Firstly, Wittmann knocked out the dangerous Sherman Fireflies, then systematically shot up the rest of the column. The British column consisted of half-tracks, towed anti-tank guns, Bren gun carriers, and also trucks. At the top of the hill, Wittmann encountered more Shermans and Cromwells and eliminated them. Having dealt with the threat on the high ground, Wittmann decided to return to Villa Bocage for more trouble. However, in the meantime, the surviving British forces had set a trap with four Cromwells and an anti-tank gun in the village. Wittmann drove confidently in, but his Tiger was struck in the side, disabling it. He and his crew escaped on foot to fight again. His ambush at Villa Bocage had cost the British over 25 tanks and armoured fighting vehicles. Wittmann's attack had severely dented the British advance in Normandy. He received the swords to his Knight's Cross and promotion to SS Hauptsturmführer. Do please subscribe for more great content.